Okay, I live in St. Petersburg, and I love everything about St. Pete. The music scene, the culinary scene, the art scene, everything is, in my mind, better in St. Petersburg. No offense, Tampa. I know there's <laughs> a little bit of a rivalry here, but you're not going to want to miss what is coming up here very soon. It is the 13th annual St. Petersburg Jazz Festival. Yeah, that's right. And that is Rafael Pereira right now on the Brazilian tambourine. He will be kicking off the first night. And also joining us is David Manson, who is the director of the St. Petersburg Jazz Festival. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning, Good morning. sir. So, Rafael, first tell us about that instrument you're playing. Uh, it's a, it's the national Brazilian drum. I would say it's used all, all across the country there. And uh, it's been developed throughout the years to, to become a... Um, uh, instrument that's very versatile in, in Brazilian music and across the world. And I know, David, that you had to take a year off because of COVID, of course, and now you're back bigger and better than ever. Fill us in on what people can expect there at the Palladium, uh, which is a beautiful venue. It's a wonderful venue and it's large. We'll be in the big hall so we can socially distance and be safe. We start on uh, February 23rd with the Brazilian group of Som de Jazz with our special guest here, Rafa. And, um, and then we have five evenings of jazz at the Palladium Theater. Which is amazing. And I understand you have some Grammy winners performing. Tell us about them. Yes, our, our flutist on the opening concert, Jose Valentino Ruiz, he uh, is a recipient of a Latin Grammy. Hmm, beautiful. And then you also have something called the Blue Note Best Of. Explain what that is, David. This is a tribute to the Blue Note uh, jazz record label with uh, Austin Vickery and James Suggs leading a, uh, a sextet. So it's, it's going to be wonderful tunes, bebop tunes, and soul jazz. Now, Raphael, tell us about opening night. I mean, it's, it's been a while since the festival was, was back in St. Pete. Tell us about your, your experience and, and, and the music you play up on stage. Nah, it's super exciting. Um, I was back here, I think in 2020, right before COVID hit uh, in February, which was uh, probably one of the last concerts I played. And so it's super exciting to be back and, and, and support uh, the Jazz Festival and be a part of it with, uh, with David and, and, and the group. Um, to you know, promote Brazilian music and to uh, uh, show a little bit of the, the the world and culture that we have back there, um, down there to 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 everybody. Yeah. And what I love about this festival, David, is that you really do have many diverse types of jazz. Because you know, sometimes when somebody hears jazz, they think of you know, kind of that dissonant sound in music, and so it may not be everybody's cup of tea. But there is really something for everybody at this festival, isn't there? We have a wide range. We have, after the Blue Note recording, we have a group called Radio Jazz Head, and this is a 12-piece orchestra that plays the music of Radiohead and other 90 super bands. But oh, in that sounds awesome. Super that good. that really th That's different right there, isn't it? Quite different. Pete Carney is the uh, gentleman putting that program together. And then we have a big band on Saturday with an, an amazing talent. This is an 18-piece big band called the Helios Jazz Orchestra with Emma Hedrick, who is a young singer who's won all kinds of acclaim in Downbeat Magazine. So she'll be our guest on Saturday's concert. And then Sunday is a vibraphonist from New York, Chris Dingman and his trio. And it's all his original music for vibraphone. It's, it's quite beautiful music. Well, and, and, and quite diverse for sure. Now, you mentioned there will be social distancing since you're in the big hall, which is great. What other precautions are you taking so people will feel comfortable coming out and, and experiencing the jazz festival? The Palladium Theater encourages people to wear masks, uh, and that is very helpful if people will do that. So we can all be relaxed and enjoy the concert. All right. Well, Rafael Pereira and uh, David Manson, thanks so much for spending time with us this morning. And again, the uh, St. Petersburg Jazz Festival at the Palladium Theater uh, beginning tomorrow night. And for more information and tickets, the information is right there on your screen, mypalladium.org. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank, Thank you, Jerry. Take care. All right.